This is the uh, east wall here, and the garage door will go there. And we got the buttresses that are going to go on the corners. You'll see those when we get that up. That's going to be way cool. All right, we're out here at Trunkets again, getting ready to grout uh, first lift. You can see the quarter inch by six inch lag bolts we countersunk in there. We do that about every three feet. And then up at the top, we screwed some plugs over there to hold the bolts in. These are the access holes here. Remember, we uh, typically grout all the, start at the lowest window sill and grout all the window sills and then the access hole. This RV garage doesn't have any low windows, so we're just going to hit these access holes here. This is kind of a neat trick because this building's going up 18 feet. We threw an anchor bolt in here and then an anchor bolt up there. And after we get this grouted, then we'll take a 2x6 and nail it to another 2x6 make an L and that'll keep that top half from blowing over in the wind. And so you're putting it in there and we just got it off. We'll be back next week. It's Friday. We'll be back Monday. Have some video to putting that lintel in over there. It's the effort over there. You never want to put water on the floor. You know, which we don't do, we don't sweep up the floor while we're working and then when we grout that acts as a sweeping compound and that way the grout doesn't stick to the floor. This is a bond beam and lintel here. A lot of steel in there. Nice clean job. It's looking pretty big now. That's 18 feet high. It's one of the biggest headers we've ever done. We got it all ready uh, to grout. Hope that wind's not too bad. They're putting some all thread through there now to sandwich that header I filmed yesterday. The grout's coming at one o'clock. We got this grout at 10 foot high now. And we got to grout the last eight feet. It's one of the biggest lintels we've done. It's a 22 foot wide, 14 feet high garage door. 18 feet high and then we're going to put the four foot trusses on top of there. There's a view from the inside. You can see how high it is. It's 18 feet. Got it all braced up. Last thing you want is to blow over. Remember that trick I had in the other video where we put the uh, anchor bolts in and then we can bolt a 2x4 on here and that helps brace it. That second this lift. block here we're going to use for the buttresses there's big buttresses going to be built up on the corners you'll see you can that see that plywood and two by six reinforcing remember we hogged out all of that block and put those uh used stirrups in there we don't want that to blow out either and they just grouted that window sill we ran a little short last time and here's the superintendent you know, I always tell the superintendent they're the ones with the hard hats and the safety vests. There's the trusses that are going out. There's another view from back away from it. Remember, we put that group of trusses together and set them up first to have something to tie off to. Well, we're moving right along here. It's really going to look nice. Got the back wall and the lid mainly to do. Got to box out that window. Another view here. All right, finishing up the stucco here. It's a smooth finish. Really looks nice over the EF block. The sides all cured out and dried here. Look a lot better when we get the scaffolding out of the way. It's a barn door we built. There'll be a mezzanine on the other side. This is going to be, or this is not going to be, it is the nicest RV garage I've ever seen. All the EF block and then we put all this corrugated metal on here and then dadoed in the boards around it. Even went up into the skylights. A lot of work in this baby. Well worth it. 
Got our flood uh, flow through flood vents, something the county's requiring. We had about eight inches of rain today and no water came in the building.